Hey everybody, John Nelson with Haas Automation here today to talk to you about the M5 M code, how it may be slowing down your cycle times and what you can do to speed up programs on your Haas mill. M codes are a lot like switches that turn machine functions on or off. For example, M8 turns the flood coolant on and M9 turns it off. M5 is the spindle stop command and it waits for the spindle to stop rotating before program execution continues. If your spindle is turning at maximum RPM, it may take two or three seconds to decelerate to a stop. Now, the spindle needs to stop at the end of the program and on mills to perform a tool change. Ironically, the M5 is not necessary in either of these cases on Haas machines. That's because several M codes in the Haas control include the spindle stop function. M0 and M1 program stop commands stop the spindle. The M2 and M30 program end commands also stop the spindle. But most importantly, the M6 tool change command includes the spindle stop function. In fact, the M6 also moves the Z axis to tool change position, stops the flood coolant, stops through spindle coolant, stops through tool air blast, and stops the auto air gun functions simultaneously. And that's the key to real time savings. While it only takes fractions of a second to turn off coolant or the auto air gun, the spindle deceleration time associated with M5 can be a real cycle time killer whenever the RPM is higher than 5,000. The tool change command M6 allows the spindle to decelerate at the same time the machine moves to tool change position. Combining these two actions virtually eliminates the dwell while the spindle decelerates after an M5 command. The typical program format for the end of a tool path is to clear the cutting tool from the material, stop the coolant or air blast, stop the spindle, move the spindle to tool change position, and perform the tool change. We can see that example here. Here's how we format our milling machine programs for maximum cycle time savings on every tool change. We just clear the material and call the next tool. The simple fix is to delete all M5 commands that come before tool changes or the end of a program on mill programs running on Haas controls. We do need to add a disclaimer that you should always review your G-code programs to evaluate the impact that any edits will have. But generally speaking, you do not need M5 commands before tool changes, before program stops, or at the end of a program. Pay attention to how you or your post-processor format M codes for tool changes and start reducing cycle times today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.